maximum. Got that egg with him? Yeah. Here you go, Alfred. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's a bush tucker. Sugar bag is the best bush tucker you can get. You got to wait for it. There's more here, mate. Oh, good. There you go. In the past, the chewed up beeswax was used as a glue or a putty, handy for making spears and woomeras. Nothing gets wasted in the bush. Back at the Billabong, the boys have been getting some bush tucker of their own. A freshwater crocodile. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just did. This is only a small one. They can grow up to about two and a half metres. <laughs> Unlike the saltwater crocodile, these fellas are fairly harmless and timid. Still, I wouldn't try and pat one. They could give you a nasty nip. You reckon you that, Tom? In the shallow water holes, they're quite common, and they're very easy to spear. <laughs> we'll probably be eating the tail. Yeah, no, I'll see you along the back and along and, uh, on the side. Yeah. yeah. But I'll on the head there. Can you take it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just as well as any fish water crocodiles in here. Because in this heat, I reckon there's only one place to be. What's the water like, all right? Yeah! Alright, come on in with you. Out here, water holes of any size are few and far between. Water scarce at the best of times, but sometimes you can find it in the most unlikely places. You'd expect to find water in country like this, probably uh, down in that low country around the creek lines. But occasionally, just very occasionally, you can find it up here in the high ground, the ridge lines, places like this. Because sometimes you can come across these sort of things. These are what you call native wells. And what they are is holes in the ground, sometimes bulging out underneath, which collect water and other stuff. And these wells, when the rains come, act as a catchment. And all the water goes down in there. This one here has got quite a bit of moisture in him. And if you're trying to survive, that's going to be pretty important. Cover him up again with the rock so that the sun doesn't evaporate the water off. Water wells to Aboriginal people were extremely important. The information on where they were to be found was passed on from one generation to the next. It's amazing how a trickle of water can create a little oasis in this dry country. There's a great spot pretty close to Dry Creek where you could almost kid yourself you're in the rainforest. Hmm. The water coming from, Dolly? Yeah, the water coming from up there. That so that's the hill there? Yeah, that's the hill we got a bill bomb up there. Yeah, a bill bomb up there. Yeah, that's what the water running down. Water has always been the key to survival, and there's water here all year round. So this is a special place for Tommy's people.
Ei näy enää viehoa, joka näkyy renkinä. Tuodaan. Come near the ground, that one. Yeah, what are you thinking here? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm thinking. You're coming out of that rock up there, Dominic. Yeah. There's some big tree around here. One up there, another one over here. What time do you reckon we get in? Oh, you get in about what time, you know? Yeah, Christmas yeah. time. Yeah, Christmas time again. Cluster yeah. pigs are found all over the north, and they're pretty good eating. Nice and sweet. These won't be ready for at least another month. Of course, there are some foods that you can eat at any time of the year. A good emergency standby is the cabbage tree palm. These palms are unusual for this part of the world, but they're growing here because of the water. Have a look, eh? All right. Can you cut him off? Sure. Why not? I'm going to put a... You can cut him off. All right. The old cabbage tree palm is a pretty useful plant. The leaves can be used for thatching, and the trunk is a compress to relieve backache. And if you cook it up, it's supposed to be pretty good for sore throats. You can cut any one side of it. In the country, yeah. Right. Oh no, Kakadu way. Yeah. They got this one here, big tall one, skinny one. Yeah, right. you get a lot of this on uh, Man Creek down on Birkdown. Birkdown way. Yeah, in the Birkdown way along the Kakadu River. What, a little short one or a tall skinny one? Big tall, tall one. Yeah, down in the heart. Yeah, down in the heart. Something right here. Oh, yeah. yeah, that truck is nice, eh? Right, that one there. Yeah, yeah. More down here, see? The yeah. cabbage tree palm, like yeah. every other bush food, has its own nutritional value. And that's oh, why I take samples yeah. for scientific yeah, testing. You, um, up, yeah. you want to cut him off a bit and we put him in here? Yeah. But I guess it might seem slightly strange that I'm doing 20th century analysis of a bush tucker that Aboriginals have been living on for 40,000 years. Yeah, filling right up. You should have a bigger bottle, eh? I think we're going to need a bigger one. You've got too much. Yeah, you've got too much, eh? Push in there. Yeah, I'll put it back. Still, if anyone will tell you, the final test of any food is in the eating. You want to try it? Yeah, all right. And of course, in the right company. That's all right, eh? Yeah. Good to go. Yeah. Oh, well, we live on this one out here. Eh? Yeah. I thought you lived on the Tindaka down the stool. Oh, that's right. You know what Tindaka is? Eh? It's a booster. Oh. You have a lot of them here. Here, one more. Give me another piece. Eh? All right. Yeah. I love one too. You love one too. Good? Eh, too right. Too right. That's a good one in the middle, eh? Yeah, that's a good one in the middle. Do you want a bit more? Yeah. All right. The one? Yeah. The soft one? Yeah. Do you like this bush tuck here? Yeah. Pretty soft one. Right in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.